Yeah, it's very nice to see you, actually. How have you been? Yes, yes. It's been oh, ages. Great to hear. Yes. Good to hear, good to hear. He's good. I think that was good. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, no, I, can, I can hear him. I've got some... He's uh, in character. Telepathy all of a sudden. Yes. Yes, well, look. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> what, what's all this? What's all this? Oh, look at this. All the anodized things and the golds and what's, the things. What's that, what's that all about? Well, we'll tell you, tell you lovely, lovely people. Oh, now we've got your attention, though, before we start. Yep. Can you click things? You can. The, the lovely like buttons down here and the subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. And if you like this base video, please watch some more. There'll be some more in this corner, I believe. But that's enough. That's enough. Stick with us. You're in good hands. That's enough self-promotion. That's enough of that. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> so, so, these. Down to the business of the day. Oh, absolutely, man. So, yeah, with the lovely people at Fender and Squire have released these 40th anniversary uh, P bases and jazz bases. Okay. Uh, to celebrate their, yeah, the actual start of the brand in 1982, technically, when they released it. Again, we'll talk about that, but um, just celebrate 40 years in the business, along with Fender. Very nice, very nice. So these are not sort of based on anything in particular, they're not like a replica of this or that? No, um, no. But they're just a, a 40th anniversary special edition. Exactly, it? yep, just to celebrate celebrate the year 2022 we are in. So 1982 was the the year that Fender launched Squire as part of the Fender brand. As, um, as, as, okay, as guitars. As guitars, yes, because we were looking just before, I think they were um, they were bought in 65 by Fender and not used until 82 to, to be what they are now. But they, as, uh, a, as a string manufacturer? Bang on, yeah, so string. I think they used, um, made the strings for the Fender guitars until Fender decided, why are we calling it Squire? Let's just call them Fender strings. And right. they brought them into the brand. But um, So at that time, yeah, I think it was Japan at, at, the, at that time in 1982 that you'll find some very rare and expensive squires out there, if you can find them even now. Um, yeah, they're, they're, that, they're, they're the JV... Uh, JVMs, were they JVMs? Models? Yeah. yeah, so um, Japanese-made squires. Like oh, do you know, a Beautiful. great memory of mine, I remember in 80, 1985, I was watching Whistle Test. Oh, yeah, a, yeah. A band called It Bites came on, and uh, this massive lunatic singer that they had, <laughs> about six foot four, um, and he had this uh, white... Squire Strat, but it was like because they had the big headstock, I think that was the thing. It, the, the early stock. squires had the big mm, headstocks. Love it. And love he had it, it sort of right up under his chin like this. Oh yeah. But yeah. I just thought it was so cool. Yes. And I really, I really uh, sort of coveted it. Yeah, it's like, what is that? Why is he playing there? But yeah, you'll you'll see that. Um, see if you have a look online. That I think they're around a thousand pounds upwards now if oh, you yeah. can find them. You know, so big um, money. Big, big monies, but um, but rare. But say so now, obviously these guys are made in Indonesia. They've they've moved around Squire um, over the years and made. 
Um, guitars in different places, China, India, Indonesia, Korea at one point, I believe, but um, mostly when they started, Japan, and as they are now, Indonesia. So these are the current versions. Um, and as you say, man, it's not, not based on any particular model or particular year, but... Um, they just made a nice, sexy bass. Very sexy, yeah, excellent. Yeah, just really, really good looking. And all the bells and whistles, you know, like block inlays, gold anodized scratch plate. Like That's not, I love here. that. Yeah, we, you don't find on uh, many of the Squire range, if not any of the other ones, possibly. So maybe some of the Squire Jazz Masters in the, um, in the guitar range. But um, you don't normally see these until you get some American vintage and custom shop stuff as well, really. So that I normally see. Um, gold hardware, uh, binding on the board as well. So again, nice little feature that will just smooth off those frets for everyone. Uh, glossy neck and yeah, unique 40th, 40th anniversary. I oh, just got that on the camera. Uh, 40th anniversary stamp on the back, just to celebrate. Very, very really unique. Very, very nice. So, uh, what are those specs have you got? I mean, body wood and stuff. Oh, good shout. Yes, this is a new, uh, as far as I know, new wood that I, I've never read on the spec for. Nyato or Nyatoa? Nyato? You have a look and spec yourself, so there's probably things that we'll miss today, so have a look below for the correct spelling and pronunciation. Okay. You don't want any of that from me. Um, but at Nyatoa, hardwood um, uh, that they're using for the body, along with obviously the standard hardwood with uh, the next maple. Maple, uh, mate. There's the obviously back. plenty of maple still about. Oh, yeah, there's still no good for that. maple. <laughs> there's plenty of that. <laughs> plenty of that. And uh, I think it's Indian laurel. Yes, Indian laurel was the fretboard as well. Okay, so, so obviously, um, as rosewoods become scarcer and more expensive, they had to find yes. some alternative things. Yeah, too right. All right. But yeah, man, there's some. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they just look stunning as well, don't they? Just, the gold really does make it pop. Um, especially on this white one in particular, and that colour. That's oh. a lot. Isn't that a beaut? Oh. Is that bur is burgundy? Burgundy sparkle or something like that? Burgundy oh, sparkle? That sounds good to me. It's uh, gorgeous. That with the gold colour looks amazing. And you see here we've got these lovely P bases, which we'll, we'll show you in a sec as well. So we've got one in black and one in a, in a lovely blue there. So uh, shall we shut up and just play the things shut for the lovely dance. people? Shut up and dance, if I could. Yeah. I might. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Well. Yeah, you want to play that one? Shall I? Yeah. You, you play it and I'll okay. go and have a little uh, diddle about with it and uh, it'll be, that's the most efficient way. There you go. Really you is. scoot forward. Oh, that's you can, everything. You yeah. can diddle the, the, the twiddles, as it were. Back, pick up, tone off. And, uh, Does yeah. this. Appropriate tune for uh, such an instrument. Do you know what? That was a uh, that that sounds lovely. When you say tone off, that was tone off straight away, wasn't it? And then just a little bit. Yeah. Just a back pickup. Yeah, yeah. That sounds big. It sounds big. I mean, they, they are um, our Nico magnets on okay. these pickups, which I think they're pretty unique to. This part of the the uh, Squire range, I think, but um, might be um, standard with all the classic vibe series. But um, with those magnets, I'm going to be doing something different with the pickups. Maybe I'm just feeling um, a lot of balls behind that, you know, just for a passive jazz bass. Jazz bass. Balls. 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 We like balls. And uh, just uh, so everyone knows, you're going through this Boss Katana. Uh, hey, yes, lovely. Uh, uh, but we're just DIing. We haven't mic'd it up or anything yes. like that, so you're coming straight at the back there. Yeah, indeed. Well, yeah, man, that's lovely. I mean, you know, it's it's a jazz bass, so you know, it, it, it does what it 
says on the tin. It does indeed. Oh, but yeah. it does it very nice. It does it very nicely. And actually, I thought I might be a little bit put off by this uh, very glossy neck, but playing it just then, I didn't really think about it. You know, it's, um, and this is something that will eventually obviously start wearing through, or if it's not your bag, I know that, you know, you can get a little bit of wire wool. That's what I do with these sort of things. <laughs> just as a little, <laughs> just a little trick. You know, if you don't like the gloss, just a little wire wool, very, very thin. And it, you know, you've got a satin finish, satin finish. If we're, you so we're, not, wish. we're not responsible for anybody oh, no. that does that. The fender won't cover any is. warranty. Either no, so don't start out trying that. But I'm just saying, if you prefer a satin neck, there are ways to do that if you want. So at your own risk. Yes. Uh, good. Well done. Uh, yes. So yeah, well, well done. done. Well done. Well thank done. You. No, that's well done. Marvelous. Really. No, <laughs> well, 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 well done. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, P base time. Do it, mate. P base time. Yes. <laughs> I quite like the fact that the, the tone isn't yeah, you very often with the tones on these it's either like everything or nothing yeah yeah but there is actually kind of this does incrementally change the tone like it like Do you know it. what I mean you want that but very often it's just like somebody's going Ooh, yeah to, all, or, or to bright off. yeah but there is kind of there's a nice mid Now yeah. that's important when you've only got one pickup. Yeah, that is important. Totally, because you can hear that that more throaty mid-range sound is going to cut through where you need it, and then the warmth obviously is doing the opposite. But absolutely that's lovely, yeah. yeah. So that uh, with the tone all up. Somebody wanted us to play near up the neck, apparently, the other day in a comment, so I'm going to do that now. Oh, yeah, good shout. Just yeah. a shut thank them you, up. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. I must say thank you. <laughs> thank you for your lovely comments. <laughs> Carol King. K, Carol K. So, that was blasphemy. I didn't mean King, I meant K. So you're supposed to have a bit of rag over the strings here, look. Instant Carol Kay, look, yeah. I've just invented that. It's all right, isn't it? Chunky, with the, that pig, we saw it, said it on day when we were looking at all those P bases that, oh, just something with the P base with the pick sounds brilliant. You yeah. know, it really does cut through nice. It is. And then, because the, some people slap with it as well. Yeah. And that's yeah, got yeah. A, a sound on it by itself, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to think at the moment. Well, on a P bass? Yeah. There oh, we've is... got um, Larry Graham. Forget Me Nots. That, that sounds like it was done on a P bass, doesn't Forget it? Forget Me Nots. What's that? Who's that? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, the Bear with us. Something like that, innit? Ooh, isn't it? okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forget Me Nots. Ah, oh, I'm Bear with you. I know oh, oh. oh, it doesn't go like that. But, I'm uh, with you just... now. Sorry, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's a sound done. in itself. Yeah, isn't it? a yeah. Bass with a bit of slap on oh, it. Oh no, too right. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, no, love it. I like the sound of that. Yeah, no, these are yeah, they're beautiful looking things. Oh, do you know what? I mean, you're doing that. Let me just do a little bit of little picky picky thing with the jazz. Yeah, picky jazz bass. Both pickups on all the time. So we got. missing you know because you you've just obviously take the bridge pickup out you get close to a p bass but it's not quite there and i think it's it's not we've and, talked and about it before it's that split in the pickup but also I, think. I just think there must be like a lot more winding on this because there must be a reason this is wider yeah that's true oh, that's true yeah. Do you know what i mean yeah. so the, i just think there's more winds on this yeah which just gives it a, a fatter sound Possibly. Yeah. I, I don't know what else it would be, you know. 
Because I say, well, you can get, you can get close with that, me. that neck on the jazz, but yeah, something about AP bass, just that split pickup on its own. It, it's a classic sound, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That's the Squire. Yeah, 40th, 40th anniversary. anniversary. Uh, bases and very very nice they are too very very pretty i'm not too sure if there's any more colors i think this is the range so like but just have a look down below all the links will be just below the video here so if there's any i've already forgotten colors. what that one's called <gasps> ruby red oh there you go yay ruby that looks like a like a placid blue kind of thing this is olympic white i believe yep. And uh, and good old black. You can't get, you can't go wrong with black. <laughs> so, nice though with that analyzed scratch plate. Right? Looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, and it's I'm very just, cool. Just thinking the same thing, like the gold hardware on there with the gold, like those gold knobs with the gold heart. Um, it works. The the stylist at Fender is obviously uh, they're on earning, it. earning their money. Yes, yeah, right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. But yes, yeah, they are. So um, currently 2022, so they are out. They probably won't be around forever, being the 40th anniversary. Um, and most importantly, I suppose it just struck me. How on earth much would a, a man have to pay, or a woman? Or yes. A, 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 Christ, what a minefield. Would yeah. anybody... With anybody, yes. Would, uh, Whatever you are. Uh, uh, would, would have to, pay, <laughs> have to pay for one of these. £430 or 429 429 But which is it, man? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting any change or not? Yeah, you, no, you are. You're getting one pound change from 430. 429 of English sterling pounds. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, okay. Um, you know, I, I think you want to really sort of match that against what, what obviously your budget is, what the sound you're after. Have, maybe have a look at one up for, into the Fender range, like the player that we just looked at, really, like Fender Player, P Bass, or maybe the one below as well, just to see, okay. give you an idea of like what, you know, yeah, you save you've got, a bit you've of money got the Affinity, which is kind of the, the, the cheaper Squire. That's it. And yeah. the player, is it that the, the Mexican? And then, uh, the, yeah, that's it. You go up one to the Player uh, Mexican series, which is about 650, 700. So, okay. um, or about 100 pounds less than this. So, I'd probably say just for what you like on style of looks and obviously feel and and sound well, and, and they are they are all different you know it's worth totally. because I, I, somebody said the other day oh yeah p bass is a p bass but it's not mm -hmm. uh, because you know they're, they're, they really are all different and uh when we get sit here and play them you you realize that you know? definitely feel yeah. wise sound wise they're all very different. So spec-wise on some of them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, and so we are in a very pri privileged position. We, we, we do appreciate that we get to, you know, to, to play and to try all these different things. But if you're local, if you've got, um, say, you can come down to the store, you've got somewhere that you can test these out, it really is beneficial just to, you, you'll, you'll be amazed the, uh, the amount of differences. So, but yeah, these are around, 429 for this year only. And if you like what you see, come and, come and grab one and come and come and try it if you can in the store. Otherwise, have a look online, it'll be there ready to go. Yeah, lovely. And yeah. Uh, as we've seen, it will be an investment because, uh, you know, if you bought a Squire back in 1982, <laughs> well, it's not uh, worth a fortune. Yes, it's very true, yeah. Just Stick it away on. for 40 years. Yeah, it's hang on to it 40 years. Yeah, wait till the laughing. 80th anniversary, bring it out and sell it. Yeah. Nah, so nah, just nah, an nah, idea. Nah. It's 80th anniversary. <gasps> I know, mate. Wow. I might just be here. Just about. No, I probably won't. Probably won't be long. I won't. No, well, you, you know, are, you miss you'll be all right. Well, I, I'm not. Anyway, I'm keep kind it light. My body. Yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. Light. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there we go. Very nice bases. Uh, yes. Yeah, buy one. Yeah. That's my no, advice. Uh, this has been all about the base. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. I've been Nathan. Thanks for joining us. I've been Lee. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Bye.